All right, so the next ones are going to be basically how to save your world. So Minecraft has an auto save feature. You can manually save your world by going save all and it's going to save the game to uh the file. So basically this that effectively saved everything in the world. Um you can turn saving on and off so you can go save off, which means now whatever I do in this world until I manually save it, it will not be saved. If I turn save on, now it's auto saving, so every everything you do in the world should get periodically saved. But if you manually want to save, that's when you would do save all. Uh, there is a that's just the way to to save your world. Um, there's also ways to check information about the world. So like the seed, if I want to see the seed, this is the seed of this specific world I'm using right now. You can check that. Uh, let's say there was multiple people in your server and you wanted to broadcast a message. You could go. You could broadcast a message to the server. Um, world border. That one seems interesting. So, if you want to change the world border, I think you can go in here and change if it damages you, where it is, if it warns you, and stuff like that. So you can do a bunch of stuff with the world border. I'm not going to change any of that right now, but there are settings for that so you guys can configure how far people can go out away from spawn. That's useful if you want to uh, cap how large your world files can get and uh, prevent lag on your server and other, and other th stuff like that. So the next one I probably should have done sooner, and I know a lot of you guys are probably here for this one, but this is the game mode command. This is the one that allows you to switch from survival to creative. So let's say I want to go into creative mode, I would do game mode creative, and that's going to change my own game mode into a creative mode. Alright, so now I can fly around, I can do all this shit, and I can infinitely build, blah, 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 blah. Alright, now if you want to do that to somebody else, you would do game mode and their name, or no, you go creative and then their name. All right, so this effectively would do the same thing. Let's say I want to put myself in the survival. I can put my name as well after it, and it would still apply to me. Now you can do this if you're an operator. You can do this to anybody in the lobby. So you can change the game mode to, to anybody you want. So if someone else joins your server and you don't want to give them operator status, but you want them to be in creative mode, you would manually type game mode creative and then like their name you know what I mean and it would it would put them in a creative mode if they were in the server so that's useful for that you can set the world spawn as well so remember how I spawned underneath there let's say I want to spawn right here I'd go set world spawn and then it sets the world spawn so now let's kill myself again let's just go to game uh, let's put myself back into game mode creative fly way up in the air and then we'll set myself back to survival. I'm not spectator. Survival. And then I'm going to fall to my death. Bam. Dropped all my stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the spawn point gets set, like, in a decent, like, in an area around where I set it. Because I set it right here, I'll respawn in, in a decent area around it. Because the way that Minecraft spawning mechanics work is it doesn't always put you on the same block. If you want that to happen, you're probably going to have to use a plug-in. But that'll set you to respawn over here normally. So, like, let's say, let's say I did this again and I put the world spawn, let's just say, like, on top of this tree. Alright, now we'll, set, we'll put myself back into creative mode and we'll kill myself again. Let's just set the game rule so that I uh, don't drop all of my stuff once again. So we'll go game rule, keep inventory, true. And now I'll set myself back to survival and I'll fall to my death. I'm going to keep all my stuff. That just prevents me from having to pick it all back up. And now look, I spawned over here by that tree that I was talking about. See, I think, I think this was the tree I put it on. I don't remember, but I, I spawned over here now. So, like, it doesn't put you on the exact block, but it will put you near it. So, like, if you, let's say you didn't want someone to spawn over, over here, you want them to spawn, like, five miles that way, you would travel all the way over there and then set the spawn, and then they would no longer spawn here. So that's the world spawn. Uh, I guess there is another 
command called spawn point. Let's try this one out. That one sets the spawn point for a person. So now if I die, it's only me will respawn there. I don't think that it does it for everybody. So let's go game mode creative. We'll fly way up in the air again and I'll kill myself with fall damage. And then it puts me on the block that I set that on. So if, if you want to set specific people to spawn in specific places, that's how you would do that. The world spawn is going to give you a general area. The spawn point puts you on a specific block. But that only works f for specific people. If someone else was to join the server, they would not spawn there. They'd spawn down there. The next one I'm going to show you guys is called Effect. Now, effect is how you're going to give yourself uh, potion effects in the game. So if I want to give myself, uh, let's say speed, we'll put my name in here, and then we'll go Minecraft speed. And now we have to put in how long we want it to last for. All right, so let's just say we want it to last for 60 seconds. Now the amplifier, we'll just put that at 2, because we want it to be speed 2. And then do you want particle effects? We'll put true because we do want to hear see particle effects. So look, now it effectively gives me speed. And I have speed for one minute. And I have speed three apparently because I guess it starts at zero. Zero would be level one, one would be level two, and two I guess is level three. That's the way that that works. So that's how you can give yourself uh, effects. If I want to give myself jump, you would just type jump boost. And we'll say we'll give that to myself for 60 seconds. Let's make it fun. So we'll go 20. And we'll go true. And look. Oh, it's probably going to kill me. Nope. It took a little bit of fall damage. It does mitigate the fall damage, I think. But yeah, so you can you can have some fun doing this. Just giving everybody effects in your lobby and stuff. Oh, that's going to kill me if I jump again. Oh, no. Nope. I didn't, oh. <laughs> All right. But... So that's how you would do that. You can also enchant stuff. So let's let's uh let's get my armor right here that I got. All right, and let's try to enchant it. So basically, what you would do is you type enchant. You would hold the item in your hand that you want to enchant. So type enchant, and then the enchantment that you want. So with target, I think we do actually have to put our name. So what we're gonna put next is let's say we want to put blast protection on our leggings alright we'll choose blast protection and obviously we'll max it out I, I'm not sure what the max blast protection level is but let's just set it at five and then you click enter oh obviously we can't go more than four so we'll go four it tells you if you go too high so it just it just enchanted this item so now we have blast protection four on it and you can do this multiple times so let's say I wanted to do uh, fire protection now all right, we would put fire protection, and we'll put four. Uh, leggings cannot put fire fire protection on them, apparently, so we'll do that to the chest plate. And now we have fire protection. We can put blast protection on the chest plate. I guess we can't, but I don't know how these work. But either way, that's how you would put enchantments onto the items themselves. Um, and you can do that with anything that supports an enchantment. So, like, my diamond sword has sharpness 5 on it. Let's say I want to put fire aspect on it right now. Let's type in fire aspect, select it. Obviously, we'll just put 1. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it as max as we can get. 4. Obviously, okay, we can only go to 2. So, fire aspect 2. So, now we have fire aspect on our sword. See? Um, okay, the next one that I want to show you guys is the XP command. XP is pretty useful if you want to give yourself experience. So you just go, let's say I want to add levels to me. We'll add myself 50 levels. So it doesn't give you 50 levels, apparently. It gives you 50 experience. So you can just keep doing that if you want to keep giving yourself... Wow. If you want to keep giving yourself experience points, you can just keep doing that, see? But if you want to give it higher, let's just say I want to give myself a shit ton of experience. That brought me up to level 30. See what I'm saying? You, you can keep doing it. You can type in a f amount of numbers if you want. Now I'm level 3,502. So yeah, that's how you can do that. Um, slash kill. Kill will kill me. Or, no, it will kill an entity. So if I want to kill myself, 
I can do that. That probably would have been an easier way for me to be doing this the entire time instead of jumping off towers. But that's how you can effectively kill someone else in the game. If I want to kill Carbon 2141, troll him. If he was in here, I would do that, and it would find him, and it would kill him. Um, I think you can kill... You can kill mobs. You can use these selectors, too. I'm not going to go over any of the selectors today, because if you guys want to learn about that, I would, uh... I would suggest going and reading up on the wiki. Alright, so there was a couple commands that I forgot to show you guys. Uh, one of them is going to be how to change the time of day. So you can go time set, and you can change it to like day, midnight, night, noon. So let's say I wanted to change it to, to noon. I would type in noon, and it looks straight up, and there's the sun. You know what I mean? And you can change it back. Uh, let's say I want to go midnight. There's the moon. Uh, let's try night. That's going to make it right when the moon's coming up and the sun's going down. And then we'll do day. And this is the one you're probably going to want to use the most. This just skips the night and goes right to the beginning of the day when the monsters start to burn. So, the other one that I've forgot to show you guys was called I don't think toggle downfall is in the game anymore but what you can do is type in weather and uh, you can type in weather rain and it'll start raining you're probably never ever want to do that you're probably going to want to do the opposite of that and go weather clear but know that you can also do weather thunder, and that's going to make a thunderstorm happen. I'm going to fly up in there so we don't hear the rain. But that's going to make the thunderstorm happen. It'll snow in the snow biomes. Stuff like that. So, I mean, this is this is a good idea Like, if you ever wanted to, like, I don't know if you were building something and you wanted to cover it with snow, and if it was in a snow biome or something you wanted to, like, naturally snow, you could, you could make it do it manually. I don't know if you're on, like, a creative server or something. So, yeah, I'm not going to go over the selectors today. Uh, I just went over all of the basic commands that I thought you guys might want to use if you were to join a Minecraft server. Um, and if you guys have any questions about any of these commands, be sure to uh, definitely drop a comment down in the comment section. Um, I usually will try to get back to most people. I'm having a hard time right now only because uh, I'm not exactly at my house. I've been kind of busy the last week or so. But uh, other than that, I should be getting back into this, making more videos, and helping you guys out soon. So, wow, we already killed the Ender Dragon here. I didn't even know that. But yeah, this this is it for the video today. Um, if you guys appreciated this, or if it helped you in any capacity, be sure to leave a like. Uh, drop a subscribe if you guys want to see any future uh, tutorials or any videos that I'm going to be putting out. Um, and yeah, uh... I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope this helped all of you. Have a good one.